everyone. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecast doing a Divine Masculine energy check-in. Divine Masculine is representing either male or female since I'm focusing strictly on the energy, not so much the gender. So, of course, take it how it resonates for you. So, just guided to do this one. Whenever you are guided to watch it, it is going to be timeless. So, let's start. All of the decks I'll be using will be listed down below. So let's start off with the Divine Masculine Energy Oracle cards by Flames of Alchemy. So I use this deck a lot, representing the masculine. We have a masculine who is in takeoff mode. The card after that is Desire. So if you are, for example, in separation from your masculine, what we're getting here is they probably ended up leaving the connection because they desired somebody else or they were interested in going after a particular scenario that was outside of the relationship, whether that was a person or a particular goal that they had in mind. But I am ultimately feeling that this could have turned into a third party situation. And now take a look at the next card. We do have temptation. So they were tempted by something outside of the relationship and they either ended things detached from you or this could have been a situation where they were hiding what it was that they desired and were tempted by it as we can see. So it could have been infidelity. All right but it could be other things too. But that's what I'm getting, that they were tempted by somebody. More than likely, they desired this person, so they probably broke things off with you. Or you could have certainly broken up with this person once you found out that they were interested in someone else. All right, let's see. i pulling from my Valentine Connection Tarot. Look at that, we've got the Five of Wands. So we see the competition. Look at the card right after that, we have the Seven of Swords. So they were clearly focused on somebody else outside of the connection. I feel they were sneaking around because we do have the Seven of Swords, which is a cheating card. Deception, lies, they were hiding things from you. This is the next card. We do have the Knight of Swords. So as we can see with that keyword, they tend to be impulsive. They tend to be non-committal sometimes. They go after who it is or whatever it is that they are wanting. So that seems to be the case here. This is interesting. So we've got the Empress that represents the Divine Feminine person here. So if you happen to be Divine Feminine watching for a masculine, you are either... The person that they desire but i'm also feeling since it's coming through as a temptation as well as a possibility that it was a third party or that they cheated on their partner you might have been representing the person that they had their eye on or the person that they left behind it really depends on how the situation played out for you you could have had a family with your masculine. The Empress can represent a maternal influence, as we can see right there. We've got the High Priestess, again, representing the feminine energy. That's followed by the Four of Swords. So more than likely, it could be the feminine who needed to also step away from this situation to be able to just focus on your own healing because this right here is a time to rest, a time to recuperate from something difficult, and that something difficult could be the Five of Wands as well as the, as well as the Seven of Swords, because it's coming through as cheating, infidelity, third party. Let's see what else here. So this is what's coming through for the masculine right now. They were tempted by someone else. We also have the Knight of Pentacles, which is a very slow moving energy. Some of you could have been dealing with a masculine representing Earth energy. So Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. We do have the Empress representing Taurus for the feminines. So it could also explain that 
if you were dealing with a partner who cheated on you, maybe they really thought about this before they actually did something about it. It could have just all been a fantasy of theirs and then they eventually took action to make this desire and this temptation a reality for them. Look at this. We've got the Ace of Cups that is followed by the Three of Swords, followed by the Four of Cups. So believe it or not, I have been saying this so much in my readings lately where the tables really have turned. What I mean by that is if this person cheated on you, that whole third party scenario might be a thing of the past now and they might be wanting to return and start something new with you but clearly they broke your heart this is clarifying the love triangle for some of you and if they're wanting to reach out and reconnect at this point this is telling us that they first of all have a lot of regrets tied into some of those past decisions and they probably have now missed the opportunity to return, especially if you've already moved on to a new love. That could be for some of you. Or you're just focusing on yourself and being able to love yourself right now to make better decisions for you. And part of making better decisions is to not allow this person to return. But we do have the Six of Cups. So this is clarifying here that whoever is thinking of you they're very much focused on those memories that you guys did share in the past because the six of cups picks up off of that past influence and it's also a desire to return and to have that reconciliation with you we do have the knight of wands so this is clarifying for some of you guys that the person that ended up either cheating on you or getting themselves mixed up in drama they weren't really the type to settle down. You know, they weren't really looking to get married or move in together, perhaps. Um, and if you guys wanted to take things there, maybe they just weren't ready for that. So they chose to maybe invest their time and energy with other people. Let's see what else here. Oh, this gets super interesting, guys. We've got the Ace of Swords. And now we've got the emperor. So as you can see, Divine Feminine, this person who, who hurt you, because we are focused on the Divine Masculine energy here. You guys are actually coming through as a very compatible match. Some of you could have dealt with a Masculine who represents Aries, because that's what the, the emperor represents. But if not, we're focusing on the Masculine and the Feminine. And the two of you are coming through as divine counterparts. But I'm feeling here instinctively that we might have a feminine who might have cut the masculine out. Because they were in takeoff mode, as we can see right from the very beginning. They went after something or someone that they desired. And believe it or not, a third party does not always have to be a person. I've done readings where family got in the way of a couple coming together or staying together someone's job got in the way of two people to just be able to focus on the relationship so it doesn't always have to be infidelity but the way it's coming through here it certainly could have been okay so if where you're at at this point especially if you happen to be divine feminine you're just focusing on yourself or you've already found somebody else at this point and maybe we have an ex divine masculine here who is really wanting to return, but maybe it's too late. Okay, so let's see what else we can bring forward. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my Silhouettes deck here. I've since revised this one. I actually really like the new version, so it's now available in my deck shop. And I will, of course, as I've mentioned, link everything down below for the decks. So let's see what else we can find out here when it comes to you and the person that you're focused on. Let's see if this group of cards has anything to do with that first batch or if it'll bring forward just a whole different message for the collective, okay? I'm guided to pull three cards here. We're starting off with complicated. Let's grab two more. Someone's feeling lonely. Look at that. Okay, one more. And we have a mystery woman. 
Wow. Okay. So going back to the seven of swords, deception and lies, as well as the five of wands, we see the competitive nature going on here where there were other people in the mix. All right. So if there was a mystery woman or for some of you, it could have been a mystery man because we are just focused on the energy of the masculine and feminine, as I've mentioned, not so much the gender. We clearly see that something was very challenging here and it more than likely resulted in a breakup because someone's feeling quite lonely without the other. So let's read through these and then we'll go ahead and clarify these. All right, so complicated, you and I, we're a complex duo. This love story hasn't been easy. Ups, downs, challenges, obstacles to overcome, but you and I together, we can get through it all. That is, if you guys are willing to work together, because I am feeling for some of you, this might be an ex from the past, and maybe at this point, you're either not interested or you're, you've already moved on. And so here they are feeling quite lonely without you. And this card says, I've seen these clouds before, but I don't ever recall them looking so sad. It must feel this emptiness in my heart and the storm falling down from my eyes. All right, so they're feeling empty. They've shed some tears over this. It's making them really sad and lonely and melancholy because you're not there. And then we've got the mystery woman message. I'm the one he hides in the shadows, the one he doesn't tell you about, the one he comes home late for, the one he desires. There's that word again, desires when he's not with you. So that certainly could have been the case for some of you guys, that we have a masculine who desired somebody else. They were tempted by this person, which is why they didn't stick around. So it makes sense. All right, let's see what else we can find out with some tarot. Let me pull from my yummy tarot this time. Angels and spirit guides, please, for the collective. What else do we need to know, please? So I feel we have a masculine who's really learning some major lessons here. Look at that. Someone was clearly juggling. They maybe were torn. They were on the fence. They couldn't decide what they wanted. You know, they wanted their cake and eat it too, that type of mentality. Here's where their struggles are because the two of you might have actually been twin flames. And so regardless of the path that they decided to take or regardless of where the two of you are at at this point, they're still feeling this attraction towards you. They still think about you. They still feel drawn to you. And I, I am feeling that they still love you, but they definitely got lost along the way here. They're wanting that reunion because the four of wands can represent that. There's something about you that makes them happy. You know, they, they blew it. We've got the two of cups. You see, this person, they still love you. They, they are definitely feeling that mag magnetic pull towards you here. It is true love, but they decided to walk away from that. Look at this, guys. We've got the six of swords. The person who's watching this, if you resonate with this, you probably left this person behind. You've moved on. That's what this transition is about with the Six of Swords. You know, you're transitioning away from that experience. You decided to move on with your life. And I can't help but feel at this point, you've already found someone way better suited for you. Or maybe you're in a much better place in your life. You know, look at this. We've got the Page of Swords. The key words here is curiosity and petty gossip. So, this whole mystery woman or mystery man situation, infidelity, love triangle, third parties, they did something that people were talking about. You know, it, it could have been scandalous. It could have been something that was being talked about, whispered about, you know, behind their back, or you guys just heard about it through the grapevine that people were talking and part of this curiosity, too, is wondering what things would have been like with this other person. And so that curiosity is what caused them to go into this takeoff mode. You know, they needed to see for themselves what was that all about, you know. We also have the fool. So what we do see here is a masculine who clearly wants to try again. They want to start again. They want to go back to the beginning when things were 
fresh and simple and they're really wanting to take things back there. Look at this. We've got the Wheel of Fortune that is followed by the Ten of Cups here. That's what they dream about. I feel Divine Feminine. They want things to change. They want to have a second chance with you. What they fail to recognize before is you could have been marriage material. You really could have been their ideal mate, but they didn't recognize that before. That's their loss, you know? Yeah. And then we have the Four of Pentacles coming through right here. So as we can see that keyword, they were greedy. They wanted everything. You know, they perhaps were wanting to hold on to you, but also tempted by somebody else. Could have been something like that. Or they could have also been very greedy with their their money. You know, maybe when you guys were together, they could have been the type to hold on to every penny that they made and, you know, you were kind of left to fend for yourself, perhaps. Something like that. But look at this. We've got the judgment. We've got the seven of cups. Here we are again with the ace of cups. So they want a new beginning. We see that here. And I can't help but feel for some of my feminines, you have already found love. They want a new chapter, another chance to be with you. They had too many options, you know, exploring what those temptations were as we saw. But I, I really do feel that part of this awakening for the masculine is recognizing that out of all of these choices that they had, that you were the only one that really stood out at the end. You know, you were that one cup that made sense for them and that they're still drawn to. So part of this awakening is their desire to reach out. And that keeps wanting to pop up in this reading. Their desires include this need to communicate with you somehow because they feel the need to make amends here. They know that they hurt you. They broke your heart. This was not an easy thing. Look at this. We have the Knight of Cups, which is very romantic on behalf of this masculine. And you put these two together with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups. We have a masculine here, clearly, who wants to be able to experience this happiness and commitment with you, Divine Feminine. And again, earlier, you know, with the Empress, some of you guys could have already had a family together, or you could have already been married and then had a spouse who cheated on you. Could be something like that. But I feel they're wanting to bring the romance back. That is how I see that Knight of Cups. And we've got the Four of Swords. So some of you really needed a break from this person because it was too painful a situation to deal with you know, needing time to yourself, perhaps to really think, would I want this person back? Should I give them a second chance? Or if you're content with where you're at, regardless of the fact that this might be a twin flame or even a soulmate connection, you know, just because somebody is our twin flame or soulmate, that does not guarantee union where it can last forever. You know, it just means that there's definitely a very special connection there. But there are definitely ups and downs to both types of relationships. So Four of Swords really clarifies it because we've seen that coming through twice, where after having experienced heartbreak and pain from probably a love triangle, that we have a feminine who really needs to take a break. And that's why we're seeing it twice, you know, just needing to really release from situations that was just too difficult to hang around and stick around. You know, so this right here, recuperation time, healing time, that is what is needed, especially on behalf of the feminine. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what the future has in store for this connection, especially for those of you perhaps who would be open to trying again. All right. So this last section, it's especially for those who would be open to talking to your masculine, hearing them out, depending, of course, on how that conversation goes, would you be willing to give your masculine a second chance? So what does the future have in store for the collective when it comes to the divine masculine? 
I'll be pulling from the Arrows of Love Oracle by Mystic Moon. All right, Divine Masculine. In the spotlight, attention. Okay, look at this. We have Party of One. Okay, let me grab one more. One more. This is so interesting. Plenty of fish in the sea. I want to grab one more. Angels and spirit guides, please. Give me one more card. One more card, please. Oops, that's too many. One more card. And then we'll go ahead and clarify with tarot, of course. You hold the key to their heart, Divine Feminine, but more than likely that third party scenario, it's a thing of the past. They probably ended it because it just wasn't giving them what it was that they needed because what they had with you was all they needed. And they, again, failed to recognize the value of that. So that's what's being brought to their attention, that you are the one. And they're single. They're not with anyone, more than likely. Yes, there's plenty of fish in the sea, okay? But you're the one that basically got away, got away from them. Or you decided to detach yourself from them because of how they were conducting themselves. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some tarot one more time from my tarot teacher. This is the revised edition. It's a great deck, especially... For those of you who would like to learn tarot for yourselves. All right. What else do we need to know here? Focusing on the Divine Masculine. Ace of Swords. All right. So they finally have had that epiphany. They now see things clearly. What they've done wrong in the past the regrets that they have, they, they knew that they needed to cut that third party element out, but maybe it was just too late. But they are at a place now, I feel, Divine Feminine, where if you were to take them back, they would make much better decisions compared to how they were before. And this is also about cutting things, situations, and people out. And the only way for this to work, if you guys were to have a second chance at this, is to make sure this is a relationship only about the two of you, no third person, no other factors involved, all right? Because you've already been there. Here's our Seven of Swords again, and that's why they are a party of one, because they cheated on you more than likely. They did something here that was shady, and that's clarified by the moon. Look at how these cards are coming out. Some of you guys could have also been dealing with a Pisces, the reality of it is they love you. We've got the two of cups right here. You are the one that they want. That doesn't guarantee that they will have that opportunity to return, especially Divine Feminine, if you're no longer interested. Ace of Pentacles, though, this is clarifying on behalf of the masculine that they are in a much more secure place and they're ready and willing to dive fully into this relationship if you would give them that opportunity. Maybe they have also worked very hard to make a name for themselves, maybe in their career, their finances. They are able to manifest in that regard. But what they also want to manifest here is a new beginning with you. And it seems that they've done the work to get rid of those factors that were a problem before. And look at this. Here we are again with the Four of Swords. So we could also have a situation with a masculine where they're afraid to take action, especially if there's the possibility, Divine Feminine, that you would reject them. But I, I really do feel there are a lot of times where they feel alone, missing you, thinking about you, feeling overwhelmed, stressed out. So they needed to take a break from the drama as well. And I feel that's why they probably cut out whatever was causing all of the problems before. We also have the Nine of Cups. So this masculine, they really are still wishing to be with you. You're definitely still a part of their dreams. And then we have the Three of Cups, which is actually a beautiful combination for that to come through because it's a very happy card. 
it is a very celebratory type energy where a reunion is possible for you guys to start again. So it can represent a very positive outcome here. It's also fitting that we have the death card coming through. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Scorpio. You could be the Scorpio. So something came to an end clearly because it needed to. In order for all of these changes to happen, to give you guys a fighting chance to come together if you're interested and to make it work this time, something needed to fall away. And that needed to happen on behalf of this masculine to do the work. All right. And Divine Feminine, you're also coming in with the energy of the High Priestess. So if you're feeling your masculine's vibe and energy still, you probably already know where they're at energetically, you know. And they are acknowledging that they were impulsive and that they acted foolishly, perhaps. Interesting how we've got the full card coming up next. They, they are coming through as somebody who wants that new beginning. That just keeps popping up. And they have decided that you're ultimately the one that they want. And here we are again with our Four of Wands. So it could be reiterating that this is a Twin Flame situation that might come back into union. There could be future marriages for some of you, okay, where you have that happy ending, that Ten of Cups type experience. And then we've got the Ace of Cups, which we've also seen. All right, so I feel they still love you. They still feel this deep connection towards you. They just want a new beginning. They want a second chance with you. So it's totally your call, I feel, Divine Feminine, if this masculine will be given another chance to come in. But what I can tell you with this Hierophant card coming in is that they really are ready to commit. Okay, so they're no longer in this, let me grab that card in this takeoff mode. They were before, and that's what created all of the, the problems and the obstacles. And remember, they were desiring and as somebody else and tempted by someone else, and that created this very complicated situation. But they now know what it's like to live life without you, and they don't like it, you know? And they really want to be able to return and come back. And they're telling you here that they're ready to give their all. This can be a card of full commitment and marriage as well to people maybe that needed to learn lessons apart to be able to come back together, but it's still coming through that the two of you are still meant to be, even though it came through in, in sort of this roundabout way or the road ahead was just a bit of a zigzag journey, but the overall destination looks very good. It looks very happy. And that for some of you who are open to the idea that there's still the possibility of that reconciliation. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there for this Divine Masculine check-in. Hopefully there was something in the messages that made sense for you. And I know I haven't been posting a whole lot, guys. I've just had such a busy schedule, but I will definitely put in a whole lot more effort to be able to put out my 12 in the beginning of the month as well as the second half of the month so stay tuned for that i'll announce it on my community tab here on youtube as well as on my instagram page at the celestial forecast by carrie it's the only one with the blue check mark we made sure to go ahead and verify the our channel there because of all of the scams and fake accounts that were popping up you know, so hopefully if you guys follow us there, you're already aware of that. All right, guys. So if you're interested in your own personal private reading from me, all of that information is down below. And I hope you're well. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.